Hey guys, welcome to the seventh video in the C Sharp Linked List tutorial. In this video, we are going to finish up the Linked List class by implementing the get method and the indexer. But before we get started implementing those, I have to go back and fix an error I made in the remove method. Let's take a look at that. Now right here, if index is greater than this dot count, so basically what this is saying is if the index is greater than the size of the list, we want to set the index to the last value. Well this dot count always is one more than the last index in the list. So what we need to do is set index greater than or equal to count. I ran into a bug when I was testing some code and that is the fix for it. Alright, we can move on. Now to implement the get method. The get method is going to return the object that you want to get at the specified index. So the method header would be public object get and we pass it an int index. Now the first thing we're going to do, like a lot of those other methods, is make sure the index is not negative. So if index is less than zero, what do we want to do? We're going to throw a new argument out of range exception. And we're going to pass it index and plus index. Great. So now we need to check if the list is empty because we're just going to return null. So if this.empty return null. Next what we're going to be doing is doing the same thing we just did in that remove method. We want to make sure if the index is greater than or equal to count the number of items in the list. We want to set the index to count minus one because we want to get the value of the last item in the list. If index is greater than or equal to this dot count, we want to set index equal to this dot count minus one. That takes care of that. So now the fun part. The first thing we need to do is get the starting node. So what we're going to do is call node current and we're going to set it equal to this dot head which is the first node in the list. Then what we're going to do is use a for loop and loop to the node at the specified index so we can get its data. So it will be for int i equals zero, i is less than index, and then i plus plus. Then what we want to do here is increment the node to the next node in the list. So we set current equal to current dot next. And since that's the only thing we do in the for loop, I'm just going to get rid of those brackets. And then the last thing we want to do is return current dot data. And that will return the data at the specified node, at the specified index. That is our get method. It should work perfectly. Now what we're going to implement is the indexer, and that's just basically another way to use this get method. I'll set it up up here. It's going to have the exact same return type as get, so we'll do public object and the syntax for an indexer what you type is this which references the current object and then a left square bracket and then the parameters you need so int index and then the right closing bracket and inside here what we need to do is a getter and what do we need to get? We need to return this.get at the index and that's just another way to use the get method. And the indexer is complete. Congratulations, you guys. We have finished our linked list class. Let's go ahead and test these two newly implemented methods in our program class. There's, we have a new linked list. I am going to add hello to the list. I'm going to add test1 to the list. And I'm going to add test2. Oh, no, I'll just copy and paste for... There we go. Now what do we want to do? Let's have an object. I'll just call it test for now. It will equal list.get and let's get test1. So get1. I'm going to put a breakpoint right there and let's test our code. After I execute this line of code, test should be equal to the string test1. Let's check it out. And yes, it works correctly. Now let's test out our indexer. Remember, the indexer is just another way to use the get method. Object test2, I'll call it, equals list, and then the syntax to use the indexer is a left square bracket and then your index. So I will say at 2. So we want to get the string test2 out of the list. And if I put a breakpoint right here and run it again, the object test2 should be equal to the string test2. There you go. 
Now we have fully implemented the methods that we were going to implement in our linked list. I will cross them off the list. And congratulations you guys! Don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next tutorial.